my fans and I see this Cambridge math problem. I feel used too many methods carry solve. The first one I want to do is say the first method I want to use. I feel just say okay, this is make you find x. Make you solve for x if y to the power of x is equal to 81 and y is equal to 3 to the power of x. See, it is very simple. You don't say y to the power of x equal to 81. They're gonna say the same y is equal to 3 to the power of x. First thing I'm gonna do is say. If y be 3 to the power of x, it means anyway I see y, I will put this 3 to the power of x. Watch. I can say in place of this y, I will put 3 to the power of x raised to the power of x done already done the up there before. You understand? This one now, but y be 3 to the power of x. In place of this y, I put 3 to the power of x. This x time with this one equal to 81. Don't finish. Let's see the next thing. I can say x times x now it's in. Talk now. x times x. You say 2x. No, now. What if x times x for the last time? Eh, eh, x squared. So you can say 3 to the power of x squared equal to this particular 81. If you still reduce them as 3, you can say 3 times times, 3 times 15 times, 15 times, this will give us 81. 3 times 3 na 9, times another 3 na 27, times another 3 na 81. So 3 raised to the power of 4 will give you 81. I put 3 raised to the power of 4. Now, anytime we say b is the same, what you go do? You can equate the power now, you correct. So x squared now will be equal to this particular 4. Anytime it's a case like this, now you won't find x. You can do it. In. You could take the square root of both sides of the equation. But if you take square root of both sides like this, this other one will go with plus or minus. And so this one and this guy will cancel. So x now will equal to plus or minus the square root of 4, not 2. And we can.